How's it going, Jolie? Hi guys, and welcome to the UK in a Peel P50. Today, we are going up the Blackpool Tower. We are on the grounds of the Blackpool Tower and the museum, the dungeon and everything. The staff have just met us and let us in. So we are recreating something that happened back in the 1960s. When the Peel P50 was first launched, they did a promotional thing where they took it to the top of Blackpool Tower. And the staff here at Blackpool Tower have been kind enough to let us recreate that day. standing in the Blackpool Tower Ballroom which is 127 years old and it's the most incredible architecture I've seen on this journey. Just can't believe it. Makes me want to start singing. <laughs> <laughs> So Mark here is six foot six, yeah. so you're an inch taller than Jeremy Clarkson, he famously got in one of these, so if uh, Clarkson did it, we're going to see if Mark can, so you're going to set the new, the new record. The high record. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the trick is you need to get your right knee in first, but yeah. where there's a will, there's a way. How, how'd you find it, Mark? The drugs perfect, to be honest. There you go. See, I don't have quite as much trouble getting out, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mark. <laughs> I've been told by the staff that you can actually see the Isle of Man, and I can, but I doubt the camera will pick it up. So I am now going to recreate what the Peel P50s from the Isle of Man did in Blackpool Tower in the 1960s and attempt to drive mine around.
Now that we've recreated what PL Engineering did back in the 1960s and we've carried it all up these steps to get to the elevator, of course, we've got to do it all in reverse. We've got to carry it back down. Just before we leave the Blackpool Tower, we've come to the Circus Arena and uh, we're going to learn a little bit of the history. I'm here with the amazing Luke, uh, so thank you for inviting us in here. Oh, not a problem, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Could we know a little bit of history about this incredible space? Absolutely. So, as we stand here, right in the middle of what we have with the donut, all four corners of the arena that you see are the tower legs, who are exactly in the middle of the tower if you looked all the way up. So that's where we were just now. Right? Yes, yeah. just at the top of the car. So the circus has been running um, from the tower's original uh, construction in 1894, and it's the longest running circus. So there's been a circus show every single season. We managed it through World War II, through COVID. So not even global pandemics or world wars have stopped the circus performing and bringing joy to our The show must guests. go on. The show <laughs> must go on, as they say. Um, the circus has been um, without animals now since 91. The Andres family took over and they're our resident circus family here um, with three generations of clowns running the Blackpool Tower Circus so it runs in the family. Um, it's run by clowns. It's run by clowns <laughs> but it's such an amazing space along with the ballroom and the tower um, and it's one of only two working so we're stood right now on what is our ring it drops and we have our amazing water finale at the end of each show and paired with great yarmouth hippodrome it's one of only two in the country that's still operating that's amazing luke thank you so much no problem it's been a pleasure <laughs> so these uh, the water finales that you mentioned when we were down there yes so these are many from the years that just tend to change every season and um, keep it fresh he wasn't lying about polar bears <laughs> So this is the hallway of uh, Charlie Caroli who was the master who really kind of perfected the act here and uh, there's a bit of interesting trivia which uh, Luke is going to tell me. <laughs> so a story from his family was Charlie was here and world renowned and he performed here in the Black Tower Circus for 40 years from 1939 to 1979 but um, in the era before World War II um, he had a huge fan in uh, Adolf Hitler who invited him to perform for him privately which he did and he was uh, given or gifted a Rolex which uh, upon speaking to one of his family members um, a couple of years ago they explained that at the start of the World War II um, Charlie Caroli walked to the end of Blackburn North Pier and threw this gift off in disgust at the actions of Adolf Hitler. If that ever washes up that would be worth a fortune. We've just come to the Compass Cafe to get some breakfast, which was recommended by the staff of Blackpool Tower. So when we were invited to the tower, we weren't expecting to get a tour of the circus and the ballroom and all the bits and pieces that we saw. So to the staff of Blackpool Tower, thank you so much for the wonderful opportunity. We have had the most remarkable experience. 